Okay, so number three of our seven strategies for helping with manage our vision loss is sleep. Oh my goodness, sleep is so huge. Getting good night's sleep is so critical, and guess what? Most people aren't sleeping very well. Look at the market, the sleep aids, the insomnia, the stress that people are having from dealing with, with sleep issues is crazy. Uh, people take Ambien, they take Tylenol PM, they drink alcohol, they smoke marijuana, they take all kinds of things and sleep aids because why? Because what we talked about earlier, because your brain is so stressed out, our minds were so stressed out dealing with things. So you'll see how all of these seven strategies will overlap and fit into each other. So we're talking about good sleep now. And so what is good sleep? Good sleep means that when you wake up, you feel rested. Okay, so some points of the, the season or the year or you know, maybe in the summertime you need a little less sleep. For some people in the winter they need a little bit more sleep. Obviously if you're stressed out or you're sick, you're not feeling well, you're overwhelmed, you might need a little bit more sleep. Why? Because that's when our bodies recover. Sleeping is recovery and if we're not recovering, our vision, our stem cells cannot recover. All the healing, all the blood flow, all the chemicals, our body's parasympathetic healing response can't kick in to help repair the nerves, the blood vessels, all the structures of the eyes and the brain and the rest of the body that are needed to help support healthy vision. So sleep is really, really important. It's important not to take uh, excessive amounts of medications and pharmaceuticals. Why? Because you're passing out. You're not sleeping. We're not getting the sleep that we need. We're just passing out at that, at that time. So uh, helping to develop healthy sleep habits is really important and things like exercise and managing stress and breathing exercises and meditation can really help with that. One thing that I found, because I have a history of sleep issues since I was a kid, uh, I've done a lot to deal with that. Herbs, acupuncture, supplements, melatonin. Uh, again, we talked a little about CBD being really helpful, CBD oil. But one thing that I've used that is really effective is at night, if I have a lot on my mind, what I do before I go to bed is I'll journal. I'll list five things that I accomplished today, big things. And sometimes big things to me doesn't mean big things. It just means things that I got off my table. So what that does to my brain is it tells me, ooh, I accomplished all this stuff and now I can settle in for the night. Because one of the reasons we have insomnia and we can't sleep is because the mind keeps going. It's blah, 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 blah. You ever have that? Or sometimes you wake up in the middle of the night and the mind keeps going, going. You think of your to-do list and all the things we have to do. And what happens is we get on these, 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 train, these thoughts of, of obsessive thinking about things we need to do and you know, it kind of wakes us up out of a sleep. So doing this exercise where we actually write down the things that we've accomplished for the day puts us into a state of, I'm done. You know, I'm done for the day, I can move forward and I can actually uh, do that which I have to do, which is get to sleep and deal with tomorrow tomorrow. So we want to create closure for the day. That's the whole point is, so that we can sleep. And guess what? If you need things like, you know, things to help with your GABA or your serotonin or your melatonin or use things, again, like CBD oil or valerian root or sleepy time tea, or you know what, even if you need like, you want a quarter of a glass of wine or something like that to help you out, that's fine, you know? Maybe you want to eat a little protein. Uh, I found that coconut oil before bed or peanut butter before bed, something with a healthy fat. Obviously, you don't take that if you're allergic to peanuts, but some type of a nut butter or fat like coconut oil and maybe some sesame oil with like pita, whole grain pita or something like that, that can get some food into your stomach and some fat and some protein so that you can sustain. Sometimes we wake up at night because our blood sugar drops because we haven't eaten since five o'clock. So it's a good idea to have a little something, not a carb, more of a protein or a fat, which can help you sleep a little bit. Maybe a protein shake or something like that might be useful. So that's it for sleep. Really work on your sleep. Sleep is critical. And if you're having sleep problems, uh, seek out some professional help. Do some acupuncture, maybe meditation, hypnosis, yoga, exercise. Uh, deal with some stress stuff if that's something you need to do. But look into that as something, uh, take it seriously. Take your sleep very, very seriously. Um, you need it. And I know it's not you know, tough for some of us dudes, oh, I don't need sleep. You know, it's kind of glorified not to need sleep. But no, screw that. You, know, you gotta get your sleep. That's when we heal, that's when we repair. So we need that regeneration time, okay? So do your sleep, get your sleep, invest in your sleep, 
your, your body, your eyes, and everything will thank you for it so we can uh, maintain our healthy vision and slow in, and really get better control over this progressive vision loss condition that we're dealing with.